Taylor Swift fans, Travis Kelsey's toxic masculinity at Super Bowl will cause breakup. My opinion. Tell me you don't like someone without telling me you don't like them. Like, people have been against, and by people I mean Swifty fans, have been against this love connection from the start. Toxic masculinity? You're reaching. Now, for those who watched the Super Bowl for Taylor Swift and not because it was the Super Bowl, they noticed a moment where Travis Kelsey, in the biggest game of his career, lost his cool and briefly yelled at his coach and slightly bumped into him. That was all the Swifty fans needed to take the social media so they can voice their displeasure. Like, if I had not seen the incident myself and got the information secondhand from a Swifty fan, I would think that Travis Kelsey punched and kicked his coach and sent him to the hospital. The exaggeration. Like, this attack wouldn't even register on the Will Smith scale. Come on. Now, let me read a couple of these uh, comments from Swifty fans, but I'm going to read this as a Swifty. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, Taylor Swift should totally break up with Travis Kelsey after he assaulted his coach on national television. That behavior is disgusting and should not happen in sports. Here's another one. If Travis Kelsey treats his coach like this in public, imagine how he treats Taylor Swift behind closed doors. I can't keep talking like that because I don't want that to stick. Anyway, Swifty fans act like no one loses their fan, loses their cool. Even Swifty fans will lose their cool. Give them the wrong coffee order or get their avocado toast order or cut them off in traffic. There's going to be hell to pay. So stop with the double standard, people. Stop 